What is going on gamers? Avatrix here and today we're going to be starting a Lords Mobile video. I'm going to be starting fresh. Um, that way I can explain some of the uh, the main things, how you want to go about it uh, as you start the game. So if you aren't already playing, you can go ahead and follow these videos and at least get an idea on how to start out. Um, now, once I go ahead and cover most of the basic stuff, then I can go ahead and, uh, and jump to my main account. Um, but let's go ahead and just start from the beginning. Uh, we must take back our turf. Charge! They actually did uh, two promotional videos with those two heroes, and it was really like it was really really nicely done. I will leave the link to those videos in the description. You should check them out because they were really really nice. I'll leave our lands at once, fiend. This land will be part of my undead domain. You will bow to me. Now this is what the battles would look like uh, once you actually you know start raiding people and attacking. Keep in mind that some of the troops that you're looking at right now, um, they're actually troops that you would unlock later on in the game. But nonetheless, this this is pretty much how it would look. Um, there's a lot of battle dynamics that we would have to cover, so that's coming up in the future. Death Knight uh, is actually one of my favorite looking ones in the game. Fool, you think this is over? Frostwing attack! Now this is another dynamic thing about this game, um, you can actually go up against beasts and it's called monster hunt and they can give you a ton of rewards for actually going up against this beast which is really really nice. Um, I think they rotate about every two weeks or so a new one comes in with different items that you can get, different bonuses and all of that so we'll cover them once we get to that point but it's really really nice. There we go so we take down the dragon. Keep in mind that only two of these are actual heroes, the other one is just like a like a little soldier, you don't actually get to play with him. Alright, so let's go ahead and keep it going. There we go, so now, this is the very beginning. The Oracle, welcome back my lord, other lords are jostling for power everywhere, we must reclaim our lands to expand our turf. I, Belena, or is it Belina? I'll go with Belina. We'll do my best to help you become the ultimate victor. Troop strength is a key factor in battle. Let's build a barracks to make sure we have enough troops uh, for future fights. Alright, so let's go ahead and just follow the tutorial here. We'll go ahead and build the barracks. Go ahead and build it. Bam, there we go. And this is where you would uh, train your troops. Go ahead and collect those rewards. The castle is the core of any city. Let's upgrade your castle to increase our might. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade the castle to level 2. There it is. Bam. Go ahead and finish that up. And there we go. Now, castle level up. This is very important when you first start the game. Because there's a lot of different uh, kingdoms. And I'll explain that here in a little bit. But essentially, right as you finish this right here, you're going to get two of these items. Which allows you to actually change what kingdom you're in. Um, so let's go ahead and, and close this out, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Let's go ahead and collect those rewards. Now, I guess I'm getting a shield for 24 hours, so this is nice to start with. Shields is probably going to be a very important part of the game, so keep that in mind. We'll go over that later on. VMP is also important. Um, let's go ahead and start training up some troops. The barracks lets you train troops, strengthening your army. Bal for some reason they want me to train ballistas I don't know why but we'll, we'll get to that in a second okay so here's here's an interesting thing about troops you have grunts which is basically infantry okay then you have archers we got we'll, we'll just call them uh, cavalry and then we have the ballistas now each troop counters another so for instance this infantry unit counters ranged but is countered by cavalry and same can be said by the archer you know it counters cavalry is countered by infantry etc except but the ballistas they're countered by everything so you don't actually want to use the siege engine soldier type to attack unless you're trying to take down a wall and even then uh, a lot of times it's just not even worth sending in siege engines because your regular troops are able to take down the walls as well so if I were to uh, give you a tip right off the bat, is not to build any ballistas. I would focus on the other three types, 
and probably more so on the cavalry type because they have uh, faster movement speed at the beginning of the game and of course now that we're here in the main menu we have these um, terse, terse foundations that we want to actually take out and what that'll do is it'll expand your inside turf and that means that you'll be able to build more buildings that'll uh, give you more resources etc so let's go ahead and go into this this is a skirmish one let us seize the moment and take back Blithia so essentially here you see the might 180 the hero is Icarus and you have to destroy all enemies to win so let's go ahead and scout it out uh, Icarus commands an all-around army use mixed troops to bring him down that basically will tell you what you want to keep training up in order to have a shot um, and then at the bottom there it'll tell you the army size so it's got 30 grunts 30 archers 30 cataphract so that's something that we can actually take down quite easily because we have way more than that right now um, right here you select our heroes which right now we only have the one so that's okay we select how many troops we're going to be sending and then on the top right that is going to be the, the uh, limit so right now I can only send up to a limit of 4080 but that's okay because I only have 500 as you keep leveling up and you keep unlocking hero spots on the top there up to five that limit is going to go up so let's go ahead and attack and watch that battle unfold now of course they only have 30 of each so we should definitely outnumber them and take it easily you stand before Icarus the Night Raven prepare to meet your doom there we go so this is still like the tutorial stage this is all just fairly easy it's just so you can actually see what's going on um, there we go now we engage them you can actually change the view here and on the bottom right there you can see that their morale is actually taking a big hit and I'm winning big time just because my troops outnumbers them and once that morale reaches zero then the battle ends and whoever reached zero loses so right there you see that they only have 30 troops left which are just those archers and they should go down fairly easy because the archers are really weak once you get to them and there we go morale is zero percent zero troops left we take it out with only six casualties but mainly because our army was so much bigger all right so now we get player experience hero experience but the most important thing is that we get this out of the way and now that we have this victory we can build resource buildings lumber mill quarry mines and farms now there's a few different things that I want to point out here we get to level 2 which is awesome our hero levels up go ahead and collect our rewards which actually gets us to level 3 which is actually pretty interesting that we got to level up so quickly now one of the first things that you want to do is when you log in every day is to click on this right here and go to VIP quest that gives you a treasure chest that you can open up daily and that can give you very very nice rewards and as you can tell there as you level up your VIP you'll be able to get more and more chests so let's go ahead and open this up we'll cover VIP later on in another episode admin quest is another thing that you want to do on a daily basis this basically just give you resources and it can give you different items as well so this one gives me an item so I'm gonna start this one up and it finishes in 10 minutes so we'll start this one up let's go ahead and check our mail okay so this is what I was talking about congratulations you got two novice relocators essentially this is what you want to do with those novice relocators and you can only do this if you're below level 5 uh, castle so if you go over here to the actual map oh and we need a name what should we name ourselves Avatrex YouTube, YouTube um, I guess we can put it like that because my other account pretty much has the same but it's, it's laid out a little bit differently so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll go with that that's no problem so let's go ahead and go into the world okay now once you're in the world you need to gather resources you know to construct buildings and whatnot but there's other things that I want to show you which she's keeping me from showing you come on now stop it okay now that we're out here when you click on this over here on the left hand side it'll show you exactly where you're at now I am on I guess you can call it kingdom number 74 which 
you, you, you say that name, I have no idea what that means. But, with that novice relocator, you can actually go to any server that you want. So, let's say I want to go to, I don't know, uh, server 11, okay? So, I go to server 11, and you just go into the server, you pick a place where you want to relocate, you go right here, and then you hit migrate. Okay, now that's going to actually be able to let you migrate to whatever kingdom your friends are at or whatever kingdom you want to start in. Now, I don't recommend it right away because usually this game will put you in a server where most people are in the same place. Whereas if you relocate to us like server one, there's tons of people that have been playing for a long time. So they'll be way ahead of you. So just keep that in mind. Um, turf quests, you get these as you finish things off. So... I would always suggest to finish these nice level four cool deal okay so let's go back in here and uh, explain a few different things so in this resources uh, you can build these four buildings so in this first one what I would recommend is just build one of each but keep this in mind the farm is absolutely useless outside of being a requirement to level up other buildings so, once you, uh, you know, unlock these things over here, you're actually going to be able to, to build more uh, lumber mills, more quarries, etc., and, and even more farms. But one of the main mistakes that new people do is they build tons of farms, but you have no use for them. So don't do that. Only build the one and only level up that one farm, okay? So let's go ahead and build it up. Build one of each. So we got the farm the lumber mill, the quarry, there we go, and the mines. Now, of course, each one, what they produce is, the, in the right-hand corner on the top there, you got your food, your stone, your wood, and your ore. That's basically what these produce. Um, once you start the game, this is where everything is going to take basically no time at all to build. So what I would suggest is when you're first starting the game, make sure that you stay on top of it because everything is going to finish really, really fast. So um, when you're first starting the game, this is when you really have to pay attention and be on top of everything because if not, then you're just going to you know, have no construction going or anything like that for the longest time and you want to avoid that. So as you can see here, I'm basically just building this stuff freely because everything takes no time at all. So as you start the game, you want to make sure you do that. Uh, now you run into things like this where you want to upgrade them, but you can't. It'll tell you right here what you need to first level up before you can level up this. So let's go ahead and go into the barracks. Level this up. Upgrade. Now that we have the barracks at level 2, then we'll go ahead and upgrade this. And the one thing that you want to keep always going up is your castle obviously so it's showing here for my castle to go up I need castle walls level 2 and the nice thing is that if you click on it it'll take you directly to the building that you need to up so let's go ahead and upgrade it there it is and now we can go ahead and take up the castle good deal our turf is developing smoothly thanks to you my lord now let's see how we can speed up the process Okay, so you can um, you can use speed ups, of course. Speed ups, you can of course you can just buy them, or if you're in an active guild, you get a lot of gifts, which in turn will give you speed ups. Um, but you don't always have to use speed ups. You just use speed ups to whatever you know, whatever you want. I'll go ahead and use speed ups in this case. That way, I can just show you, and then hit the castle level three. There it is. Now I get for this, I get three 15 minute speed ups, some resources, and I get this right here, which is nice. That's gonna give me stamina, but I think I'm gonna cover stamina in the next episode. Now this one was um, just pretty much to lay the foundations of how you wanna start, what you don't wanna do right off the bat. In the next one, we'll, uh, we'll continue to build our turf. Now I am going to keep going uh, and you know upgrading things off camera, so don't expect to see everything um, right away but once I do an episode I'll be I'm making sure that I show you guys what I did uh, but yeah thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one and until later bye